Hello everyone, this is Aida here and I wish you happy International Scrapbooking Day um, because of this great uh, celebration we have Instagram hop for you for everyone who likes 13 Arts products so I invite you to join and uh, for my layout I have prepared step-by-step -step tutorial uh, so we start by um, choosing our page and uh, you have to paint with clear gesture and uh, dry your page to be able to work with mixed media on top and uh, the layer of clear gesture will be protecting the paper. So now I am working on my paste because I want to have a colorful paste which I can uh, use with my stencil. Uh, so you can choose gel medium or multi-purpose medium which is a little bit more thick or mix these two products together and you can add the color of your choice. I'm using color gloves and I'm using two colors because I wanted to have this uh, special blue shade which I didn't have like uh, ready to go. And um, on the page which is, which is already dry I'm using uh, the stencil. I'm working with my newest baby, my newest collection which has, which has just been released. Uh, it is called Vintage in Blue and all the elements you can see like stencils, ephemeras and uh, stickers and papers. The, these are all from this new collection. So um, the paste you can use with stencil and also I have painted uh, the frame uh, which um, is the, the frame made from the mold so you can use the same paste to paint the frame as well and then when the page is dry and you have dried the frame and the, um, the background now we can start putting uh, all the elements together choose the, the photo you like which is matching the colors of the paper and then you can cut, cut out uh, some shapes from the papers or you can use uh, ready to go die cuts which are great and i'm using quite a lot of them uh, in this page and also brand new stickers there are two uh, a4 sheets of stickers for this collection one is black and white and the other one is colorful so whatever works for you uh, you can choose and add on your page and then all the elements um, with um, you're working with you can stick with uh, the glue or a hot glue or you can uh, choose a double-sided tape to make it more dimensional so basically I'm working around my photo adding layers and layers of different um, ephemeras uh, and paper elements uh, you can uh, add some black uh, thread or some metal elements as I did. So I have found um, some metal flowers and gears. Everything is matching perfectly for this uh, vintage collection. Um, so basically you're playing as long as you like. My um, layout is quite rich and multi-layered. I didn't have time to play and create anything in like two months so that's why maybe I had so much fun uh, creating this page and I just wanted to put more and more. But you can stop at any point. Uh, I am adding uh, some gel medium and some uh, uh, micro beads uh, on top and you can also use this wet gel medium to add some glitters, uh, grids and other micro beads. I am also putting a little bit of rusty powder on top of wet gel medium and then the reagent. And after this you, ha you may have to leave the page for about an hour or two to um, give the rust time to react and dry a little bit. And after it is dry, you can um, you can work uh, with uh, more layers. I am also I have also added some white gesso on my frame. And then uh, basically, I'm adding a little bit more colors. You don't have to do it, but I also like I, I always sorry like to add some extra color around. So I'm working with uh, color gloss. This one is Tiger Eye, which is just perfect for vintage uh, collections, vintage colors. This is like a golden brown color. 
and uh, the other one is blue. So basically I'm working only with water, adding a little bit more water to dilute the color and um, I'm keeping uh, my colors around my two focus uh, focal points uh, around my photo and the other um, butterfly on the right. So then you can add some blue. I'm using blue diamond here, but any shades of blue you like, you can uh, also um, add for your page. And uh, yeah, we have to dry it. And after it is totally, totally dry, uh, by using a soft brush and white gesso, this is the technique I always show you to uh, finish your page if you want to see a little bit more of texture. So I'm just um, dry brushing around my micro beads and uh, all the metal elements just a bit. Uh, if you want, you can skip this, of course, but I think it is a great um, way to show a little bit of more dimension and more texture on the page and basically at the end i'm adding some glitter with gold old gold acrylic ink glitter you can paint you can splash and the same i am repeat with acrylic ink thank you very much for watching please join our instagram uh, hop and uh, happy scrapbooking day thanks for watching bye bye